Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fredwin and welcome back to another episode of Race to Prestige here on Black Modern Warfare 3. This is episode number 9 and as you guys can see here we are back on Zombies. I know I said I wasn't going to play this series again until um, we finish the play this mode again until we finish the series but I felt so bad for how the last episode ended and how abruptly it ended the last time we played Zombies and I really wanted to give Zombies a real go, a true go and see exactly what this mode is like I'm, we're not going to go for the wonder weapons or anything like that we're just going to try and play as long as we can survive as long as we can exville and hopefully have a lot of fun so uh anyways guys hopefully things go well here i'm not going to make the same mistake i did last time where i kind of ran into a medium high medium area without even like paying any attention whatsoever so anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump to this now and i will see you guys in the game all right guys welcome into my second attempt here of the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies mode, which is essentially DMZ with zombies, which is pretty cool. Again, no complaints about this mode whatsoever. Up to this point. Ouch. Oh god. I'm about to freaking die already. We've been in this mode for all of three seconds. Okay, let's please not die. Right away. Now, from my experience with this mode up to this point, or from our first episode, patience and playing slow is literally the most important thing in this game. Again, I have 45 minutes, man. There's no rush. And 45 minutes is when you exville, so, like, there's... There's no reason to rush. A bandage, okay. Screwdriver and a battery. Okay, so you know what we should do is we should go ahead and head over and grab ourselves a contract. Now, again, the reason that there's no reason to stress out and, like, play this mode fast is for the simple fact that there is no like real players playing this mode so there's like no reason to like panic really so ooh, what is this Ooh, I, I think i know what this is but i'm honestly not super super sure about that i think if this is what i think it is From, ooh, those documents are worth a lot of money. If I'm understanding correctly, um, I believe that that is like a Gersh device from Ascension. So we're just going to kind of, kind of loot up to start off here. Gas mask, I think we already have one of those. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's get that guy down. Comic book, a thousand per, or a hundred. That is beautiful. Batteries. Okay, I think I want to replace those. I'll replace my glasses as soon as possible. But okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves a contract defend ground station ether extractor raid weapons stash we're gonna do that one so but we need to find ourselves a weapon first or not a weapon a vehicle zoom in I mean, there's not really any... Any vehicles super close by. Actually, I take that back. Vehicle marked. There's one right there. Let's 
yeah, again, I will probably... I'll, I'll probably spend most of my time when it comes to playing zombies. I'll probably spend the majority of my time um, leveling up weapons and getting camos and stuff. But there are a bunch of story missions that you can play through by completing a bunch of different objectives in this mode. And I'll probably complete a lot of the story as well um, for zombies. Because, again, there's no you really don't lose anything by playing through the story of this mode. So where, let me find that contract again. Defend ground station... It was here. We gotta be very careful. A vehicle is how we died last time. So I'd rather that not, that not happen again. We just need to we just need to just be patient and prepare for for the other areas. I actually think that stopping outside of an area is a really good idea. I knew it. We shouldn't have wasted that. We shouldn't have wasted that that early. We might regret that, but that's okay. Oh, those are actually enemies. Okay. They actually use a lot of in Modern Warfare 3, this game, they use a lot of characters from, or a lot of voice actors from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which I think is really funny. Like, we have... Whatever her name is. Who just spoke a little bit ago. And then we also had um, the voice actress of Marin in the campaign. Beautiful. Now these camps are very, very good. So Pretty good. Okay, I hear somebody talking. Ooh. Let's replace that. Perfect. So I actually just grabbed a stronghold key there. That's great. Um, but we don't wanna We don't wanna do anything with that yet though, because that might not end well for us. At this current moment. Now where where are these guys talking from? Oh, those are zombies. Oh, he's up there. I was like, where? Where's this man shooting at me from? Okay, let's go up. Actually, you know what? There we go. Yeah, Green, green plays as... God, what is her name? Ooh, hello. Sidewinder? 
Um, sure. We'll grab that for now. But most importantly, we're going to grab this contract. Beautiful. Enemy comms indicate a weapons cache near your location. How about you commandeer it? No hunk of time to hold that cache. Ready up for a gunfight. <laughs> bye bye. But yeah, the last time I played this mode, or the first time I played this mode, I guess I should say. I was like, oh, this is a nice chill mode, and then we died like five seconds, five, like two minutes later. Unfortunately, we also do need to buy, find a buy station as well. Um, maybe we should actually do that first. I don't see an expiration on that contract, but I th I think we'll probably be okay. If there, is it? If, oh, there is a buy station really close. Let's go. Let's go do that real quick. Sell some of our stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, it was a hellhound that made that noise. I was like, what is that? Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're up to <clears throat> 2,700. Nice. And we should get some points for doing this as well. So that's going to be nice. And this Sidewinder is also going to come in very, very handy. I don't even know. Is this an AR? LMG? No idea. Okay, so now we wait. Wow. Okay, that might have been maybe silly. But now we have insta kill, which is awesome. We'll see, look at that, man. Weapons already level 12. You'll love to see. Okay, we're 56% of the way through. Let's be very careful about the fire from these guys. Okay, we're part of the way done. Perfect. And our reward is 2,000 points, which that's fantastic. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, none of those weapons are weapons I really want. So we got a cryo freeze ammo mod. And we'll go ahead and put that as well. Which it didn't work for some reason last time we played. But apparently, wait a minute. Um, how do I check my... We have something that's $5,000 worth. What? 
Are you serious right now? Oh my, that's amazing, dude. We're about to have 10,000 points right now. That's actually insane. Okay, we're doing good on time. No need to rush or, or get worried or anything. I believe that there was actually a pack a punch machine. Very close to where we actually spawn. So that might be somewhere where we want to go again. Okay. Oh, no valuables to sell. Okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to use our full power right now. I'm just going to refill our armor up. Okay. Now, if I can get some downtime, which I think may be up here, I want to see if I can find that stronghold. Eliminate the bounty. Escort. Oh, the zombie's throwing something at me. It's like, what? Or control, tombstone soda, mystery box, eliminate the bounty, deliver cargo, buy station. Infested stronghold. Well, there's Jug. Way over there. I think. I'm going to go over there. I think we're going to head over to Jug. I'm going to try not to damage this car too much. I'm also going to be smart. I'm not going to be like I was in the last episode where we just kind of ran right into an enemy camp with the vehicle, thinking that we could just drive away from it. Again, patience. Oh no. Not having patience is what's gonna get me absolutely killed in this game. Okay, so this is a medium threat zone. We're actually almost out of it, so just got to be careful coming through this area. Again, if I see a Merc camp like that, I'm going to leave that alone. Because again, that is how we died last time. We're almost a jug, which is great. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's conveniently a pack a punch machine right next to it. But I don't know what is better. Is a jug better or is. That's going to make me feel so much better.
Sit down. I mean, we could just try, we could just kill zombies until we get 5,000 points. That might be a good idea, honestly. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and loot this building. See if there's anything we can find in here. Again, there's obviously the pack-a-punch machine. Nope. That's just not valuable equipment. As great as it is, it's not valuable. So what we should... Hey, zombie, how's it going? Okay, so what we should do is we should find ourselves another contract. Um, deliver for cargo. That's a fine one. That's, that's not an easy... That's not a difficult one, or at least it shouldn't be. Plus, I also think that they give you a vehicle, so... I know that these strongholds are supposed to be really good, but, like, I don't know where to find them, <laughs> so... I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Oh, it's a mercenary camp. Whoops. And that counter UAV is quick. Actually shouldn't hurt us to to go to that camp. Deliver the cargo to the HLZ. Okay, I think there is yeah. <clears throat> This can't be the landing zone. No, I think this is where the vehicle is. Get that garage opened up. We don't want to hang around. Okay. Okay, so it is. It's not too far away. What is that? Wait, what? Oh no, I'm gonna fail. You know, the video that I watched that said that she should do that did not mention to me, did not mention in the video that a freaking chopper comes in and tries to destroy it. And the video did not mention that. That is a huge bummer. Well, I guess we'll find a different contract then. One that is not that one. Because, yeah, that... <clears throat> did not go very did not go well ether extractors defend ground station you know what we'll give this one a try Marking contract if it happens to be really dangerous we'll well we'll do our best i guess that was a bummer i mean as much as i wanted to destroy that chopper I really didn't want to die, so. Because essentially what happens when you die is you just have to back out. But we do have a self-revive, so I guess I could have stuck it out, but that's right. I would rather do challenges like this, I guess. So 21 minutes, we probably have time for 
maybe two, maybe three more contracts. Okay, disable all extractors in the area. Oh, and two, four, oh, okay. You gotta be quick. There we go, there's one. Next one is over here. Here, hold that for me. Come on. Do the best I can. We actually do have, yeah, we have plenty of time. Get out of here. Nice. There we go. Okay, those ones were pretty easy. Oh hell yeah, man! Let's go. Let's go. This, we got we got this weapon pack a bunch now. Although I don't really know where you go to you know to level up your weapons in this mode, but I'm sure we could probably figure it out. I know that we've spent a lot of our time. Actually, we spent literally the entire episode in some of these more low-risk areas. But honestly, the main reason for that is I just, you know, want to get used to this mode before things get too crazy. And then all of a sudden, you know, I make another mistake. So, again, if you guys are at all interested in watching me play more of this... Um, you know, just like this kind of uncut gameplay like this. Let me know. Okay, there's defending the ground station. Let's do some that are close. I mean, I would be fine with doing another one of these ones. I mean, I oh, hey, nice. We completed one of the camels already. That did not take long. Okay, and I think once we complete this contract, we will... We'll go ahead and head on out. And extract. I'm not going to be too worried about getting a whole bunch of perks here. I think having Jug is just fine. Perfect. But you know what? I might as well pack a punch our Sidewinder. Just because. I wonder if maybe you increase weapon rarity by the pack a punch machine. <clears throat> Let's find out. Okay, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, one more challenge and we are extracting. 
So I do know that you can play this mode all the way up until the point of... That timer. Running down. But I honestly just want to... I honestly just want to exfil for the first time. Actually complete it. Complete this map. Because honestly, <clears throat> when I played... Uh, DMZ in Modern Modern Warfare 2, I think I extracted one time. No, I extracted zero times. Every time I played the mode, I died. So. Okay. Oh, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's... Ooh, Kazakhstan or Uni Uzbekistan University. Extractor launch sequence initiated. We don't got all day, squad. Get in there and mess them up. I'm going. I'm going. That's it? Just two, two enemies of resistance? This hasn't seemed overly difficult, but then again, I don't think it's supposed to. Considering the area that we're in. But again, if when we, you know, go for the camel grind in the videos, we'll probably, or I will be doing probably a video where we go to harder, more difficult areas go into the like the high threat zone and all that type of stuff eventually but if you guys have been around the channel a little bit you know that redemption for me is everything and that's exactly what this video is video is all about redemption for me okay here we go Because that first video was <laughs> so bad, man. But fantastic. Okay, guys, so I do want to extract here very soon. Ethernest, Speed Cola. I'm trying to figure out where these Infested Stronghold, Outlast. Oh, here we go. Mercenary stronghold. I think I want to go do that. We have 12 minutes. And I believe... I believe that's, that's enough time. But getting a vehicle will make it even easier, so... Let's see, is there a vehicle close by? Mm, I mean, there's one in here. It's kind of on the way. Good enough, though. But yeah, I will say this mode... I don't know how I feel about it right now, honestly. I think... I mean, the initial thing that I'm feeling right now is kind of... That is a little bit boring, but maybe that's because we haven't, like, <clears throat> gone to the, like, high-leveled areas yet. 
So maybe when we do that, it won't be as boring. But I don't know. Miller here. Uh, we just had a minor explosion in the ammo mob locker. Everyone's safe, but... Well, you know what triggered this last time. No, I don't know what triggered it last time. Okay. Nice. I love that this little car can off-road. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so once we do this, we'll extract. I don't think this will take us 10 minutes, but it might. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dude, this this perk is amazing. For these areas. with a knife really dude there's a lot of things in here man can okay, we try and get that armor back up and two I think this is our goal, to loot the safe. Fortress key card. Oh man, as much as I would love to do that, I think it is time for us to say goodbye. Okay guys. So what we will do next time we play this mode, is we will go ahead and you know get ourselves into some some more dangerous areas okay let's see exfil 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 the closest closest one is oof in that area Didn't let me mark it. Maybe I can't. Well, I guess we'll go to this one. Marking extraction zone. In a more dangerous area of the map. But you know what? I think we'll be okay. Are there any perks on our way? B 
Beautiful. Okay, I think we'll be alright, guys. I think, I mean, we have good armor. We have good weapons. We have frenzied guard. The only thing we're kind of missing is, like, <sighs> lethals and tacticals, which will save us. So it might be a good idea to go in here. Or no, over here. Yeah, here's where the weapon thing is. Oh no, that's just a wobby. Okay, sniper. Okay. Again, I think we'll be okay. We have frenzied guard available. And if we die, we die. It is what it is. I mean... I don't really think we'll lose a whole lot. I could be totally wrong, though. I would have loved to Xville in a different area, but... But I kind of can't, so it is what it is. I mean, if you get headshots... If you, if you get headshots, we melt through these guys. And this weapon does kill them pretty quickly. Ooh, man, this is actually going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. But we'll do the best we can. If we exfil, we do. If not, it is what it is. And we also have a self-revive, so there's that. Okay. Definitely not really ideal. To be exfilling in a medium threat zone. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It may not be as difficult as I thought. Because again, if we do head if we, you know, get headshots. You know, it does fine, so. I mean, can we train these guys up? Like it was Cold War? Yeah, we sure can. They have the same mechanics. So let's be very careful. Only use guard when we need it. I have no idea how long this lasts for. But we do get plates back, so... I mean, this is the way to do it, man. I guess leveling up your weapons and all that. Ow. There they are. We did it. Hey, we did it, man. Let's go. 
And so it begins. Nice. Well, there we go, guys. That is Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Done right. Thank you very much. Done right. So it seems like now whenever we jump back into this game mode, we're going to have a 100% we're going to have a 100% gas mask, and we're going to have a self-revive. And both of the weapons that we got, I don't know if they're going to be fully upgraded, but they're certainly going to they're certainly going to be where they are. So that was awesome. I'm glad we were able to complete that. And it seems like, yeah, the quote-unquote high danger areas really wasn't, wasn't too bad. And we managed to get ourselves to... The next level here in this game so i just wanted to check here yeah look at that gear i guess so oh nice so this is where we add like our juggernaut can and all that stuff that's really cool Okay, guys, well, that is going to do it for another episode of Race to Prestige here on Modern Warfare 3. This time playing some zombies. Really, really enjoyed that. Not sure how I'm going to edit it down. I'll either leave it as just a fully uncut video for you guys, or what I will do is I will just cut it based off of, or edit it up based off of, like, contract. So, like, each contract that we complete, I'll do an edit for that. I don't know, though. When it comes to zombies videos, like, multiplayer is pretty easy to edit down to a very short amount. But for zombies, it's always difficult to do because, like... Usually people who watch zombies videos like want to see the whole thing happen and what's going on and not, you know, have it all cut up, but I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out as I go. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this next episode. If you guys did enjoy it, I like things always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous episodes of this series, they'll all be down below. The link to in the description. Well, they'll also be at the end of the video I'll check out as well. And I will see you all on another Call of Duty video very, very soon.